Hello everyone, my name is Oksana. It's Road to Edwards, weekly Edwards Insiders Certis. We deliver the news about uh, the creation of our project Edwards. And uh, JJ, could you please open the session? Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you, Oksana. Hello, everybody. Uh, our team came to Dubai to attend the conference event. And then, uh, as you know, our, uh, our leader, uh, Dominic, is going to have some you know, uh, short speech. Uh, on the main stage and then we've seen the booths and we've checked the monitors and then yeah it looks so fine and then we are about to uh you know go to the conference to give some you know kind of brochures and souvenirs which is like a we call it shuriken it's a toy but you know it's so cutting edge so be careful anyway and then uh last night we had some welcome welcome party and then we've seen yeah many many types of partner and then the friend and uh before the welcome party i had some we had some meeting with a government guy uh, from lebanon and then they asked us a lot of things about blockchain because they are interested in that but they haven't known the blockchain space and crypto space yet so uh we had we had fruit fruitful discussion with them uh to expand our ecosystem and then th this guy also uh was was super interested in our activities so he said he'd like to be helped by, you know, ecosystem, uh, helped by ex ecosystem. And then, uh, he could find a global partner. Uh, and then, yeah, anyway, uh, it, it's going very well. And then our team is super excited to join and participate in this conference event. And then, uh, we're going to have some, you know, great connection, uh, which is super helpful for us to expand our global marketing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's great. And uh, Takukawa-san, could you please uh, continue the delicious stories of Edo? <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Oksana. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Hiro Tokugawa. So this is uh, Tempura Part 2. And now, uh, you see, so far, uh, the tempura I have been talking about uh, is basically soul food. Uh, it is food for the ordinary people. Uh, you see, in today's Tokyo or in today's Japan, to any convenience store, konbini you go to, uh, right next to the cash register, there is a section for uh, warm fried food. And uh, fried chicken, they sell one piece like uh, 100 yen. So in today's exchange rate, that would be like, what, 60 US cents? So uh, And it quenches the uh, hunger of... Uh, many people with only loose change in their pockets. And uh, tempura was the same. Uh, and especially, you see, uh, Edo was facing the sea, and the Bay of Edo, Bay of Tokyo, uh, was pretty rich in uh, seafood. Uh, so, and in, in particular, the most common uh, material uh, for the tempura was shiba ebi, shiba prawn, or shiba shrimp. But uh, they have this name because they were caught mainly in the shiba area which is today uh, pretty much the business center, one of the business centers of Tokyo. And this is where you uh, hop onto the monorail to uh, Hanade Airport. But uh, the uh, shrimps were captured there uh, in abundance. And so it was a really, uh, it made for a really cheap and warm and uh, heavy uh, stuff for everyone. And uh, the same with scallops. And then uh, from about the 1820s, and this is when, uh, so from, 1800 to 1820, uh, or no, shorter than that, uh, from about the Napoleonic Wars, 1810s, uh, the uh, the Bakufu, the shogunate, went into a phase of austerity policy, as uh, people had become so accustomed to uh, luxury and uh, easy spending of money that that was destroying the uh, moral fiber of the Japanese. So uh, the city of Edo became a bit darker as a result. But those policies uh, had come to an end by 1820. So uh, luxury spending resumed. Of course, uh, like in today's world, uh, when rich people uh, spend a lot uh, for luxury consumption, it means that uh, the uh, the po poorer masses were also gathering in Edo, but that's a totally different story. Anyway, with uh, the wealthier people ready to spend again, uh, now they had hot tempura for high-class people. So tempura had risen in terms of status. Interestingly, uh, the fish they served in high high end tempura was a bonito, which today uh, we eat sometimes only occasionally, uh, and it is fresh bonito uh, roasted on the surface and then with lots of onion and garlic. That is how we eat it today. But 
You see, uh, in comparison to the shrimps or the scallops, which, which could be caught quite easily in Edo Bay, boditos were uh, more difficult to catch. Uh, therefore, they were more expensive and also very rich in uh, protein. So that's why it was uh, thought of rather, regarded rather highly, much higher than in today's Japan, certainly. And, uh, and from then on, uh, they, they started to have fixed restaurants for tempura. So, and from there, uh, it, it, it is very short distance to today's tempura, which could be very high end and also very uh, plebeian. You know, there's cheap tempura and the expensive tempura is exactly like in a high end sushi joint or a beef joint where the chef cooks, chef fries the seafood right in front of you. So it's like one cook per two or three customers and therefore uh, it is high end. But uh, so the evolution of tempura for, from uh, soul food of uh, Edo commoners to uh, the wealthy and well, all ranks of Japanese today uh, is thus complete. So uh, that was that for part two of tempura. Thank you, Oksana. And the uh, next city also project, yes, could you please uh, continue? Yeah, thank you, Oksana. So I would like to update about the uh, Dubai Metal Week. So uh, for for this Dubai Metal Week, uh, we are going to uh, explain the details of our X system, as well as the technical uh, technical procedure to the to the uh, to the participants who comes who come to our booth. So uh, it would be really great if you uh, if all listeners and non-listeners come to our booth to hear the details of our F system. In addition, now uh, now we are we are under the process of token listing and now preparing every everything required, including the including, including the method of liquidity providing and uh, and the listing price, etc. So please uh, stay tuned to our update and. I think we, we will be uh, making announcements too. So it's all for me. Thanks, Oksana. Uh, thank you very much, TS and uh, uh, Mitsushi. Could you please uh, join us? Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Mitsushi. I'm in Dubai right now. Uh, yesterday, we set up the booth, and from today, the event will officially be uh, open. So we will uh, try to appeal a wide range of uh, stakeholders, including potential investors and also potential audience, potential partners, and so on. And interestingly, uh, there are a lot of crypto-related events uh, this month in Dubai. So people you know, uh, just told us yesterday in the welcome party that you should say longer rather than five days here. So I think we would like to make a great network and connection here. And we'd like to utilize those connections for global marketing in order to increase our presence in the global marketing, global uh, market, not just limited to Japan. And I also found out that a lot of uh, uh, general investors started to pay attention to cryptocurrency or NFT metaverse investment rather than uh, traditional, traditional financial investments. So I think this is a great opportunity for us to capture the hearts of those people, especially uh, this Ediverse. The uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese culture-oriented concept is very unique and cons conspicuous compared to any other type of metaverse projects. Because any other uh, other metaverse projects are more like a general mainstream uh, metaverse project with gamify and uh, NFT and so on. But we have this, this outstanding feature to uh, focus on the Edo period. I think, uh, and we will distribute souvenirs and novelty, novelty like a shuriken and uh, leaflets in the in the venue, I think a lot of people will pay attention to our booth. So uh, I'm very looking forward to seeing the feedback and positive reaction from the people in the venue, in the events. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Mm. Well, that's all. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Shi. And uh, next, Dominic, could you please sum up the session? Thank you. Thank you, Oksana. Are you, are you now in a, a grain now already? Oh. Uh, um, yes. Yes, oh, I'm at home. <laughs> well, um, so um, um, I hope just you, you can just you know, stay there, uh, uh, stay in your hometown, and then uh, uh, relax in there with your with your uh, with your family. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. We uh, uh, we 
just uh, had a, yeah, last week there we had a, a monthly insider that, and then we talk about uh, NFT mutations, um, the concept of the NFT mutation, uh, which is going to be a, 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 a lot of discussion in the future is that because uh, we we already just did, uh, delivered the katanas and um, NFTs uh, to the shareholders of the single white, white holdings. And then uh, we are now planning to just expand this market to the to the public uh, uh, more uh, from September or maybe October. And then uh, well, that we had to just make it something very special just for this cartoon as just uh, uh, just for the mutation stuff that in the NFTs. It's gonna uh, it, it's gonna make some of the uh, demand for the cartoons, and then uh, uh, it's gonna just uh, the sustained value of the cartoons in the futures. And then uh, you can play the game just with a cartoon and NFT in the futures. Um, and also that we started the launch uh, NFT uh, competitions uh, at who is going to be at, uh, over 10% fast uh, in the Daimyo uh, mansions in uh, Daimyo Coach District. Once that they got it, you know, they're going to just uh, make some business in the Katanas. You know, I hope you know, people can uh, they get the fast position of a Katana, uh, uh, the shops uh, that you can you can make some business. And then you can earn because this is a game fi and then play to earn. And that means uh, that the ones that you got uh, this uh, business of a Katanas and the Daimyo Mansions, uh, you can get a 10% of the sales fast. And then once that get you, somebody just to get 15% of the uh uh, around the NFT that you can, uh, all the, uh, the land owners can share a 15 cents, uh, of, uh, uh, sales of a cartoons from now, even from now that, that even, uh, uh before just we started, uh, the real metaverse of a uh, Edibus. Yeah. So, um, um, I'm looking forward to seeing that, the uh, winner, uh, and uh, very soon. Um, that's actually uh, for me, then it's very, very exciting. And then um, um, TS just mentioned about token listing, and you know, we're just preparing for everything and a whole the documentation, everything. Yeah, um, it's uh, not so uh, too much complicated, but uh, of course, you know, we we need just supply a lot of information about Zeni uh, tokens. Um, yeah, and then uh, we are now in Dubai that for the uh, Meta Week uh, 2022, and um, many people just came just from the crypto business, and I'm. Um, um, I'm really uh, happy that that we can just see that many people and then meet, meet many people, uh, just including uh, the venture capitalist and also uh, uh, um, and a lot of and the, and the super rich people just in Dubai. And then uh, we now, uh, this uh, Airbus Foundation is based in the Panamas. Um, but, uh, and then, uh, of course, the, uh, Japan is, is, of course, the major representative place. In the, and, and, and at the same time that we needed some global marketing, that we, we're going to just uh, open a branch uh, just for each region, each cities. And that we have already um, have a, um, a branches in Hong Kong and uh, and Singapore, Malaysia, and also uh, we're going to have a Dubai. And also that we, we have a branch in Hawaii. Um, so uh, uh, at first, that you know, we just expand this branch from the Asian region to, to the Middle East, and then and then United States of America, and then uh, uh, finally that our target should be I think Europe and also the Africa. So um, we we want to just cover all over the world just for the Edwards and in the future that and the people can just join us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dominique. I'm really glad that you could make it to Dubai and uh, I'm with you, me and you are in, in the same time zone right now. It's in the morning in Dubai, right? And in Ukraine. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, what time? Yes. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yes. at the same time difference just from Japan? Uh, I think so. Like seven hours, about like six, six hours. Oh, we have a five hours. Yes. Five hours. Okay, you are uh, like much faster than me. <laughs> in one hour. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, um, I wish you like good luck today, everyone. Like have fun there, making connections, yeah. like spreading adverse. <laughs> thank <laughs> making you. Making new fans. Thank you. Oksana. Yes, and thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone for listening, and uh, let's be, uh, let's wait for, for another update next week. Goodbye.